Hello, I'm Mira from Buller District Council and I'm today at the Westport Transfer Station um, to meet Alan and find out what happens with this plastic bottle once it goes into re the recycling. My name is Alan Corbett, I'm the uh, Operations Supervisor for Smart Environmental. We're here at the Westport Transfer Station. Um, we're just going to show you around and show you how things work. We have three people working on the conveyor belt sorting and another two people working in, in the area. So as the, as the products come down the belt, Everything that you put in your recycle bin is hand sorted. So if stuff's too small or it's dirty and contaminated, it just runs off the belt and, and goes to landfill. So this milk bottle like that, it's not recyclable. So we need the lid off, it needs to be rinsed, so it needs to be nice and clean. This is how the reprocessors want this material, because they want certain colour mixes. So these are both number two plastics, the numbers are on the bottom there, but they're actually a slightly different chemical composition. So they will take that it's one number two, and that is a separate number two, so we separate and sort these. So not all plastics are the same. When we get enough of these in a crate, so we'll make about five crates of these, we'll make one bale. And obviously that holds air, so you don't get good bales. So here's some of our bales that we've made, so this is your PET. So this will go back to Wellington, and it'll be turned into meat trays and, and strawberry punnets, that sort of thing. There's your pans there, which will go to Christchurch, and eventually make your way back to China and, and be uh, remade into materials. Um, milk bottles there, they'll go to Christchurch and they end up being made into plumbing pipes and recycling bins. Uh, these bales here are all these coloured mixed plastics um, and there's no market for those. We used to send them overseas but they will all be going to landfill. Again we, we bale this product and a lot of the stuff will sit around for, for quite lengthy periods of time before it uh, gets re reprocessed. So it just needs to be clean, it keeps uh, vermin and stuff away. Um, again the, the recyclers want the stuff to be, the cleaner it is, the easier it is for them to re reprocess. Don't squash your, your cans because again we've got to hand pick everyone up uh, one at a time so it's easier to, to trust them. This isn't plastic, uh, it's dirty, anything that's dirty is never going to be recycled, it's rubbish. So this is our paper and cardboard that we store here, so there's no recycling in the South Island for paper and cardboard, so we have to send all this product to India. Uh, a lot of it is junk mail that people take out of their letterbox put straight in the recycle bin, put a no junk mail sticker, 70 to 80% of our recycling is paper and cardboard, so it'd be great to reduce some of that stuff. So the reason that we only recycle plastics 1, 2 and 5 is that for a period of time a lot of the stuff was sent overseas, we can't control it once it's left the country, so if we can't recycle it in New Zealand then we're going to remove it from our product stream and the government's putting pressure on manufacturers to change their plastics and we're already starting to see that happen. So you'll find that all your coloured plastics generally are not going to be recycled because there's nobody wants to reprocess those, those products. Things like your meat trays, uh, it's a number one, but it's not, not recycled. And the reason for that is that the people that reprocess them, some of them are PVC and some of them are PET, and you can't tell the difference without an optical scanner. And the only place that have them is one in Auckland and one in Christchurch. So the uh, issues we have going forward is that the uh, government has put on uh, levies on landfills so we're going to see over the next few years that our landfill prices are going to continue to increase. The reason for that is they're trying to get people to reduce the amount of product going to landfills. Landfills around the country are filling up. They're much more expensive to build now because they need to be lined and they need to control the leachate. They can't be by the coast because we've seen it Hector um, at Fox River, they end up washing into the sea. We need to be more careful about the products that we use and try and reduce the amount of products that we use.